Hey everyone, this is Anil Gupta and I'm a CEO and co-founder of Multicolab. Uh, I'm very excited today to share with you that we have just released a version 3.0 uh, for Multicolab and this new version is packed with a lot of great new features, uh, big improvements and changes and a lot of performance enhancement as well. So I wanted to share and highlight some of those big changes that we have introduced along with this version 3.0. Uh, so if you are already an existing users or customers of Multicolab, uh, it will help you to see um, what are those new changes. And uh, if you are planning to use Multicolab, you're gonna love some of these new features as well. As well. So let's start with uh, the settings screen. So once you update um, to version 3.0, this is how your new screen will look like. Uh, we have actually in this new version, if you will see, we have now put the plan name here. So you will know, you and your team will know what plan we are use, you are using. Um, uh, and then we have also put the version number here. So it will be easy to spot out uh, and find out the version that you are using. In the settings screen, um, we have changed a few things like uh, we have introduced, um, let's say this small little tooltip. So from here, you can know all the, what are those settings about. So this will help you and your team to uh, to know, you know, whatever settings that you change, how that gonna impact. So clicking on this little info window will open up and will tell you uh, about some of those changes that gonna happen. Um, we also put the plan name here. So if you are using a free or maybe um, a plan where some features are not available in your plan, you can see them clearly here. Um, we have introduced this new floating comment bar, um, which let me just show you here. So if you see this uh, floating comment here, so that's what uh, is the floating comment bar. So this will help you to easily and quickly add uh, comment or enable suggestion mode. So this is a new introduction um, that you can enable or disable from here. And then we have also launched, uh, introduced this new publishing setting. So if there are any pending comments or suggestions in your post, and if you don't want um, your team to publish those posts, uh, then you have two different settings. One is the reminder. So this in this way option, if it, this is enabled, then your team can still publish the post, but it will just remind them that there are some pending comments and suggestions. And if you want them completely stop publishing the post, then you can use the uh, enable this option and this will prevent uh, authors and to publish the content uh, if they have any uh, pending comments or suggestions in it in it. We have also introduced this new uh, global suggestion mode settings. So as you know, by default, uh, suggestion modes in all the posts um, are by default off and um, you can enable them uh, individually uh, whenever you need. But if your uh, workflow requires where you want to have the suggestion mode by default enabled for certain kind of post categories or post types, then you can do so uh, with the suggestion mode settings here. So it's very simple. They say if you if I click on here, it will ask me what are the categories where I want to enable this suggestion mode automatically, and then you can choose all the post categories uh, that you have in your WordPress setup. Um, manage permissions has already been there. It's just changed a little bit of user interface. This is a new multilingual option that we are introducing in our VIP plan. Uh, so if you are using it, then you will see them that here. If not, then um, you will not see that option here. Or you'll see the option, but it will tell you that this is available on a VIP plan. But the way multilingual options in the VIP plan works is that um, that it provides you this, this different languages. So if you are, if your WordPress admin has multiple different languages, different language that you switch to, and if that language is one of either one of them, this list, then automatically um, Multicolab will also change the thing and adapt to that language option. So um, those are some of those uh, some of the suggestions in the settings. Um, if you 
we had changed the the earlier we had activity report activity timeline and we also had another uh, snapshot report that we changed so now that on when you click on the dashboard you will see the latest activity on the dashboard by default and um, this other report that we had that we actually moved into the report section so now you will see a lot of uh, these other reports under the screen and now let me take you back to the the post edit section this is where we have also introduced a bunch of new improvements and changes and so let's start with the first ones as i mentioned i guess earlier that if you select any text you will see this little toggle um, uh, bar we call it uh, floating uh, floating buttons so with these buttons you can add a comment or enable suggestion enable or disable suggestion mode easily so that will be handy and uh, super helpful let me just go ahead and do it so let's say if i select a text and I click on this then i can add a comment here another change you might see is that we have changed the uh, the comment icon so add comment icon earlier was different but now we are trying to introduce more uh, universal um, buttons and styles so we have introduced this new plus icon that is a new uh, add comment icon and you can see the same one on this um, uh, floating button as well and we have also introduced a few small changes so um, let's say if uh, I this is so my suggestion mode is on if I try to uh, to make any changes will be highlighted here but the important thing is that in the earlier version of multi-collab you are not able to add a comment on um, if there is already a suggestion in that text but now you can so if you select any part of this text and click on add comment So now you can add a comment on the suggestion. So this is a new uh, improvement that you can utilize. Yeah. And we have also introduced um, a comment features on some of the other types of blocks. So uh, this is a um, custom or reusable block. So earlier on the reusable block, you're not able to add a comment, but we have introduced this new uh, enhancement so now on some of the the blocks you can actually add a comment on the entire block so if you select this block instead of that so we are still working on allowing you to add a comment on the some part of these blocks but you can still add comment on the entire block so clicking on that uh, this is So this way you can add a comment on the entire block. Another great feature that we have introduced is where um, we have introduced uh, a great notifications and messaging. So anytime you uh, enable or disable, you will see this kind of little uh, messages here that will tell you uh, that you can see that will help you to know what are the settings that are enabled or disabled so every time if you do that you will see those little pop-ups there down there that will help you to notice know what are the changes that you are making in the settings so that's a new thing that we have introduced and also when you enable a suggestion you will see a little message here that will tell you what is what you can do with the suggestion or a comment more so you will see some um, messages over here that will remind you about what is possible uh, what you can do with the comment and suggestions mode as well um, so yeah these are all the great features that we have introduced in version 3.0 um, we hope that you will love it and please share your feedback um, how you are using it and what are the new feedback new changes and new improvements you are looking for in multi-collab uh, and we look forward to hear from you thank you